Welcome back to 20 Minutes or Less. I'm Elliot Morgan. I'm Lee Newton. We're going to do this right now. If you're not familiar with DARPA, it's the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, and today it has released details of its Robotics Challenge Program, which is basically an initiative that will award up to $34 million to improve robots for disaster relief. What's cool about this initiative is that although building a robot that specifically looks like a human isn't required, it is favored because a lot of the tasks in the challenge favor a humanoid form. The robots submitted should meet the following criteria. They should be able to drive. Duh! Because no one wants a robot that can't drive you home from a long night of partying. They also need to be able to travel across a bunch of different types of terrain because nothing's more disappointing than seeing your little beloved robot sprint toward a burning building and then trip over a rock and fall on his little robot face. Stay calm, everybody. We're sending in the robot. Oh, wait, no. He, yeah, okay, he fell on his face. Hang on. Stay calm. It should be able to move stuff out of its way or break stuff down with power tools, and it should be able to locate and fix broken pumps. They should be able to be operated by anybody, like a normal, everyday person. This challenge starts this fall and goes all the way until 2014. DARPA program manager Gil Pratt states, The key to successfully completing this challenge requires adaptable robots with the ability to use available human tools, from hand tools to vehicles. First of all, this is awesome. Secondly, this is a thing. Yeah, like this is actually happening. Our government is commissioning the people to create humanoid robots that will literally save our lives. And I know a lot of people are like, oh no, they're gonna take over and they're gonna turn on us. Okay, but that scenario is honestly like a solid 10 years down the road. And honestly, with the population boom and global warming and the Twilight series, we don't have much time anyway. Exactly, let's make these last 10 years a good 10 years. Build a robot, make it look like a human, give it intelligent, make it break down barriers and steal your car. What could possibly go wrong? Spoiler alert, nothing, nothing could go wrong. Look, the study of robotics isn't anything new. It's actually been going on since 1898 when Nikola Tesla created a remote controlled boat. He called his boat the first of a race of robots, mechanical men which will do the laborious work of the human race. And the desire to create something like a robot dates as far back to the 15th century when Leonardo da Vinci went all creepy and decided to create this thing, a soldier that could be operated with cranks and pulleys. And this summer, a robot by the name of Curiosity will make its way to Mars where it will perform experiments by itself and determine whether Mars currently has or ever did have carbon-based life. That means that the first thing to discover an alien species, be it a bacteria or little green men, could actually be a robot. A robot could end up discovering aliens. <laughs> Okay, you know oh, what, yeah, DARPA, hold off. hold off. Just, just hold off on the whole robot corner, thing. Put with aliens the around the corner and the Terminator like looking like it's going to be really real. Maybe just hold scary. off on the robot. Yeah, yeah. Necessary. definitely. Up. This got really real. Yeah. yeah. So with inventions like this just around the corner, are you a little worried that they might end up taking over the planet? Let us know in the comment section down below. Don't forget to click the like and subscribe button. Click the annotation down below. Go to sourcefed.com for our five daily stories and everything else you've ever done. I'm Lee Newton. I'm Elliot Morgan. Raylian. A robot alien. No, I don't like it. I don't like it at all.